Okay, so today it's a full slate of games. A um, couple of news and notes. Let's start with first with the goalies. Uh, James Reimer, San Jose, plays Toronto today. And uh, Reimer is obviously a uh, winner of three of his last four. Um, what is his save percentage? 936 now, I believe. 1.98 goals against uh, through 11 games. Uh, 10 games? 11 games? I forget which. But it's 1.98 goals against. But he, he actually only allowed a goal against Toronto. Um, or Toronto. Against Carolina on the 22nd. 9.57 save percentage. He's, he's playing out of his mind right now. But again, today he's playing Toronto. They're at home, so that could help. But Toronto is about 10-2 and two in November. So it's going to be a tough outing for him, but we'll see what happens. Um, but he's only rostered. I was just looking at this. He's rostered in 21% of the leagues out there. 21%. Just mind-boggling. He's got 44 fantasy points total this year so far. He's averaging four a game. I don't know. He, he might be a guy that you'd want to pick up if you're having some goalie troubles, a.k.a. me. Um, but, you know, I have four goalies at this point right now, and I just can't can't get a break, to be honest with you. Um, Mark andre Fleury, who, if you've been following along, I drafted then I because he, he had such a miserable start to the year. I dropped him. Now he's come back. Um he did give up three goals. They played at Calgary on the 23rd. But he still had 34 saves and out of 37 shots. 919 save percentage. Only .8 fantasy points total. But it does appear that he's he's playing better. So now, you know, I'm starting to regret that decision of dropping him. But at the same time, what was I supposed to do? Um, and he plays St. Louis today. So that's going to be another test. We'll see how he does. I mean, three goals against Calgary. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad out outing. I mean, we all know how good Calgary is playing lately. Um, they're one of the best, if not the best team, you know, along with Florida. Toronto's obviously playing outstanding. Carolina's obviously playing outstanding. But they're right in the mix. So, to give up three goals on 37 shots, not so bad. But again, he plays St. Louis today. Uh, they're at home. Chicago's at home. So we'll see how he goes. I might actually have to pick him back up. So we'll see what happens. As far as uh, my goalie situation is concerned, uh, John Gibson actually played pretty well um, the other night at Colorado. Actually, what was I even thinking? I guess he didn't. Why did I think he did? Okay, so he gave up five goals. <laughs> I don't know why I thought. I guess I was just referring to the fact that he's been playing well. Um, but he had five straight, they, they, he gave up five straight goals. Uh, I guess, I think Anaheim was up one nothing in the game, too, if I remember correctly. And then Colorado just blitzed him. So five goals on 36 shots, minus 3.8 fantasy points, so nothing to write home about. But he still does have 53.6 on the year in 16 uh, starts. I think that ranks him top five out of the goalies. And he's only rostered in two-thirds of the leagues out there. So this is another guy, if, if you see him on the free agent wire, hey, why not give him a shot, pick him up. That's what I did. Um, and I had him for, what did I have him for? I had him for, I believe I had him for the Carolina-Nashville game. I'm pretty sure I had him for the Nashville game. I don't remember if I actually played him against Carolina or not. Um, but it is on one of the other videos, so you can check it out, because I don't even remember at this point. But he only gave up two goals against Carolina, two goals against Washington in his previous outings, three against Nashville. You know, he did give up the five um, the other night there on the 24th, so we'll see what happens. He hasn't been doing great the last three starts, but he hasn't won the last three starts, so that's part of the problem. And speaking of winning, Edmonton wins again, so Mikko Koskinen gets 2.8 fantasy points total with the win, but wins are four, so he had an 889 save percentage, three goals against, 24 saves. So his stats look okay. You know, he's got, what, 39 fantasy points. He's top 15 in the league. So, they, you know, they look pretty good. 
But his goals against is 2.97. Save percentage is barely over 90. Not so, not so hot. Especially the goals against. I mean, his goals against about three a game. Not so great. And that was at Arizona. So that's one of the reasons I started him. You know, he's at, he's at Arizona. I mean, come on. But I'm actually happy I started him as opposed to Jonathan Quick. There is another goalie that I have that he gave up six goals against Toronto. So, you know, like I said, Toronto's playing pretty unbelievable lately. And, uh, yeah, so six goals against, 32 saves, 842 save percentage. He had minus 5.6 fantasy points um, on the 24th. So, but, hey, at least, at least he was on my bench. I did start Koskinen, um, but I did get John Gibson. Let's take a look. What, what did I just say he was? Um, yeah, let's see if we can do that. But, yeah, I mean, John Gibson was... Um, I forget, to be honest. Oh, well. We'll look that up another time. Anyways, two-thirds of the leagues, you should probably give give yourself a chance with John Gibson. You never know what will happen. Um, as far as today is concerned, looks like the Bruins are losing. I think the Bruins, weren't the Bruins up 2 nothing in this game? Anyway, they're losing 4-2 to two now. Um, so Patrice Bergeron, 3.1. Brad Marchand, 1.7. Everybody else plays. Full slate of games. Uh, except Detroit. Detroit doesn't play. Lucas Freeman's off, so he's on my bench, but everybody else is going. So I have Jordan Bennington and John Gibson starting in goal, and uh, everybody else is uh, going to go to town tonight, so we'll see what happens. Um, so should be exciting. Snowing first by 16 points, I believe. I have no idea how that's possible, considering uh, the goalie situation I'm about last and just about every goalie statistic there was. Um, so... Hey, hopefully I can improve it, but I might have to pick Mark andre Fleury up. You never know. So thanks for checking out the video. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see you again soon.